Now, the Xfinity Sports Zone. What's up, sports fans? Sarah Hodges with you. Happy Rivalry Week. Mother Nature was having her way at the Causeway Classic today, but that didn't stop fans from filling the stands to watch the biggest show going down in the Valley, an FCS playoff spot on the line for both UC Davis and Sac State. The Hornets have won the last three meetings, so you know the Aggies are coming for blood. And let's just say that Dan Hawkins came out with the game plan and stuck to it. That game plan to put in the workhorse and put the ball in his hands. Of course, Land Larrison has been finding the end zone at will all season long. We saw that again today. 7-0 Aggies with that first touchdown. Later in the first, handoff back to Larrison. And he goes right and he's gone. Aggies taking the 14-0 lead to end the first quarter. In the second half, the Hornets down 17-0. They just couldn't get their offense going, so they decide to bring in Caden Bennett under center after starting their true freshman, Carson Conklin, hoping KB gives them some new energy, and he did that. In the fourth, Hornets down 24-7. Caden Bennett with time, and that's all he needed to fight Jared Gibson in the end zone. Sac State now down by just 10, and just when you think that Sac would have a chance to get close, mama, there goes that man again. Lan Larrison, just an absolute dog. There he is for his fourth touchdown of the game. 121 yards on the ground. He is the Aggies offense. Davis upsets number 10 Sac State 31-21. Selection show Sunday is going to look really, really interesting. But let's get out to Jake. First and foremost, Jake, I just want to say that you are the real MVP for bearing the elements out there and giving us such great highlights. But how did the Aggies pull it off and upset number 10 Sac State today? Sarah, the one name you need to know from the 69th edition of the Causeway Classic is a name you just said plenty of times in those highlights. Lan Larrison, the junior running back, putting the Aggies on his back with a four touchdown performance, leading them to the 31 21 win. And this kid did it all for the Aggies today, stinging the Hornets for over 120 yards on the ground. He played out of the Wildcat, he even tried to complete a pass. Sac State did not have an answer for the Idaho product, something head coach Andy Thompson admitted to after the game. As for Davis head coach Dan Hawkins, he did not mince words about his star player who's had 10 touchdowns in the past three games, calling him one of the best players in college football. The best player in the league. No question about that. Uh, might be in the country. He's got a huge heart and he's extremely tough and he's quiet and he's a team guy. He's everything you'd want in a son or somebody working for you. I mean, he's he's unbelievable not in disbelief or anything. I kind of ex expect uh, a lot out of myself, so um, I'm just happy to be here and playing football. Frustrating day would probably be the word for everybody. In the past, there's been teams that have made it in and there's teams that haven't, but it's out of our hands. Now, Coach Hawk having a little fun after the game with his new mustache, saying it's the new good luck charm for the Aggies and says he's going to keep it if Davis makes the FCS playoffs. And speaking of the playoffs, you heard Coach Thompson right there. Both teams do not control their destiny when it comes to the playoffs, both sitting at 7-4 on the season. We've asked both teams, do you deserve to make the playoffs? Sac State said yes due to strength of schedule and their rankings throughout the season. As for Davis, they've won the last three straight. One thing is for sure, both teams going to be tuning in to ESPN. PNU tomorrow at 9.30 a.m., hoping that their seasons are still alive and they have a shot in the playoffs, Sarah. They got Lan Larrison back from injury and it all changed. Thanks so much, Jake. All right. Thanks so much, Sarah. And that's